Oh. Hello guys. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a happy Wednesday. It's a happy hungry Wednesday. I have some beers here. Now this beer has been sent to me by Phil West. It's his whip beer. Now ordinarily I'd only do like, a tasting, normal tasting, but I was with Phil in the homebrew ship and all the shop when he bought the stuff. And his recipe is based on the exact same recipe that I did. So I thought I'd do a, a taste test of Phil's, then a comparison to mine, because they were the same recipe, so I'd be really interested to see the difference. I think mean, the only difference being the fermentation temperature, the water, you know, okay, quite big differences, but fermentation, uh, fermentation temperature, water, and he used slightly more orange than coriander. I think that's about it. Anyway, I was really interested to see the, the, the difference. And I thought, well, as it's a Saturday night, because I'm filming it on a Saturday, um, well, why the hell not get Belgian classic from Tesco's while I was in there and do a freeway? No pun intended on orgies and all that, but a three-way wit test, wit taste test. So, this is Phil's first all-grain beer, actually. So, and I, I know some one person has tried it already and told me what they think of it, so I'm a bit worried already, to be honest, that he's uh, nailed it. But he's quite OCD, is Phil, so it wouldn't surprise me if he did nail it first time. He's done, I was having a go at people who did 10 litre brews, <laughs> but he done a 10 litre brew. Oops, sorry, Phil. Um, he used 1.15 uh, kilos of Pilsner, 1.15 kilos of wheat malt. He used 17 grams of SARS, correct flock like usual. And then he used 12 grams of coriander, 14 grams of orange peel. He doesn't say, well, it says here primary fermentation 14 days at 12.2, but I can't think for a second that's correct. So I think he just hasn't entered what he fermented it at. Maybe he wants to keep a little bit of it secret squirrel. Maybe? Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, there's no chance he's fermented at 12 degrees, not for a Belgian whip. But he did say he conditioned it at 19 for two weeks. He put the bottles in the fridge, and then two weeks in the garage. And then here we are till today. So, let's try it. Philip, let's give it a go. Good hiss. I think it's a, a wheat beer. Should be quite nice and uh, highly carbonated. There's that. Slightly sulfury smell that I get with whenever I use a Belgian yeast that instantly I think I have to check in a minute. No, it looks about the same. I'm gonna say it's a bit paler than mine, I'm sure, because I mean I've drunk all mine bar two, so I'm pretty sure it is. Already, swell it up, dump that in, dump the yeast in. Good. Actually, there's a bit of, massive bit of yeast floating through the top. I'm glad it's high in vitamin D. There we go, anyway. So it's in. I think there's some lumps of yeast in it. Either way, it's going to go down. So, feels wet beer. Looks good. Exactly the right colour. Okay, shall I get a torch, actually? Hang on. Let me get a torch. Here. Talk amongst yourselves. Amongst yourselves, right? Let's get a torch that way because of the, the light. I thought you might be able to see it a bit better, maybe not actually. Anyway, regardless, <clears throat> looks good. It's not a bit, a bit too close, right? Smells nice, smells like a whip. Good. Um, I'd like to say bad things about it. But I can't. Okay, the head is 
kind of disappeared very quickly, which I wasn't expecting. So it might hang around a bit longer. This is just the first negative bit, in my opinion. The well, that's it. I think the head's going to hang around a bit longer. It's a little bit thin body. But then some people will say that I'm completely talking bollocks. So The orange. Increasing that orange only by a couple of grams and attending it. Just increasing that orange a little bit, I think, has made it really... Made a big difference, to be honest. Um, and I know he used the same three firm blanches. The same one I moaned about saying I couldn't get banana and I don't think anyone else can. Well, it seems like he's got a little bit. I haven't got a clue how he did it. Yeah, I think he did. Well, Phil. You sort of thought it was slightly undercarved, actually, didn't you? If I remember you saying in your notes. But I think it's pretty spot on, if you ask me. Um, great first go at all grain. Great first whip beer. I mean, very brave to do a whip beer was the first one. <laughs> it was absolutely fuck all to hide behind. So, really, really nice. No off flavours. No infection, no, no anything. If I was you, I'd be very, very proud of that. Really good. So, we move on. Just purely for the sake of it. I was saying it looked like, now poor, I haven't had one of these for a while. Colours pretty much the flipping same <laughs> as well. As I said, I'd be very interested to see how this comes out. I think mine's slightly more carbonated. I think. Anyway, we shall see. So, there. Right, anyway, good. So. Mine is more carbonated, but more coriander than orange, and no banana. Colour, I'd say mine is slightly darker and thicker bodied. Slightly, only very, 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 very slightly. And mine holds the head a little bit. I'm not really sure, maybe that's just because it's first time experiment in 10. I've never done a 10 litre fruit, so I'm not really too sure. But anyway. Seems like my head's a, head retention is a bit, well I've got a bit more head, a bit more carbonation, probably due to that. And my colour is a little bit darker. Apart from that I don't have the... I don't really get the banana at all in mine, as I said before. Get more coriander, get some more, get orange in mine but the coriander is a little bit more. Feels is yeah thinner body and less carved. However, you get the banana. Mm. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? When you have the same recipe brewed by two different people, how much it can change. So anyway, let's go with the classic. I've run out of normal glasses, so I had to revert to, revert to my Trappist glass. I almost dropped it. Trappist glass, but well, it's Belgian, so why not? So we'll see. Everyone knows Hoe Garden, and everyone knows what it tastes like. But just for shits and giggles, I thought, why not? So, we'll stick Hoe Garden in the middle, and Otherwise, what do you think? I, mean, it's, I think it's in the middle between the two. So it's not this, it's not that, it's kind of in the middle. Which is typical. <laughs> Which is typical. 
head retention, the head on the hay garden hangs around a lot longer than either of ours. But then again, they're a multi million, you know, them turnover. Hey ho. Right. On the nose, loads more banana, I'd say. Even though wit doesn't necessarily have to have it, this has it. As everyone knows, he's had it. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Three wits. These two boots are the same recipe. This one, the classic. And neither the same. Neither the same. Now, I call it a three way wit off. But you can't pick a winner, I don't think, with uh, these three because they're so different. Well, actually, you know, I'm going to get rid of the home garden because, well, yeah, that's not homebrew, isn't it? It's homebrew Wednesday, probably, this video will be. Now, as far as these two go, it's horses for courses, isn't it, really? If you like a bit more spice, then you'd go for this one. If you like a bit more thinner, quaffable, but a bit more banana, you go for this one. What did he say this was? This coming out four percent, I think. Was it? Yeah, I think it was four, four point four percent and four point two, and this one is a four point nine. So this one's more in the sessionable range than this one, but hey ho. Now for a first ever boy brew in a bag uh, method, all grain beer, whatever you want to say. This is pretty damn good. So, Phil, well done. Next brew you do, whatever it is. Or did you say you were doing a Sierra Nevada clone? I'm not sure. If you are, I want one. Well done. It just goes to show to everyone, you do your first all grain beer and brew in a bag, like I hid behind a porter. Fair play, so it turned out well. But Phil went ahead and brewed a beer which you can't hide behind. Just goes to show, as long as you do your homework, before you, you take the, the leap from kits and whatever into all grain, I think Phil went straight from kits to all grain. Do your homework, and you can come out with great, perfect, almost, perfect, with beers like Phil did. Anyway, so, happy homebrew Wednesday to everybody. Boom. Um, I'll see you soon. I think I'm doing a heifer next, so I'll probably film that. Uh, for a really banana you want. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. See you lot later.